Woodman here. Uh, I want to talk to you about the heart and the electromagnetic fields. The heart is responsible for pumping blood to the entire circulatory system so that organs, tissues, and cells receive nutrients and oxygen and waste, such as carbon dioxide, can be eliminated. Research is proving that the heart may be as intricate as the brain, which could be referred to perhaps as the little brain. The heart brain actually sends more communication to the head brain than the other way around. The heart beats before the brain forms. Then when the brain is dead, the heart continues to beat as long as it has oxygen. In fact, the heart has 40,000 neurons and the ability to process, learn, and remember. It also has its own emotions. Thanks to the field of neurocardiology, we are learning more about the intuitive nature of the heart and how we can apply this information to the relationship we have with ourselves and others. This all comes from psychology today and the HeartMath Institute has been leading research related to something known as heart-brain coherence. According to research director, Dr. Rollin McCready, Coherence is a state when the heart, mind, and emotions are in a sort of energetic alignment and cooperation. It is a state that builds resilience. When the parasympathetic and the sympathetic system are out of sync from emotions such as anger, anxiety, or frustration, this produces an erratic rhythm or an incoherent state. The brain receives this input which affects whether higher cognitive functions can be accessed to self-regulate. Positive emotions such as compassion and love generate a harmonious pattern in the heart's rhythm, which leads to coherence and greater emotional regulation. When harmonious interactions exist among the body systems, this is referred to as physiological coherence. As this increases, so does the brain's alpha activity, which supports stress relief as well as creativity. This calmer yet focused state can improve things like learning, an expanded view of options, making better choices, um, and the upside is plentiful as to why we should increase harmony with our heart. With an electrical component about 60 times greater and an electromagnetic energy field 5,000 times greater than the brains, the heart has a significant influence on the body down to the cellular level. The brain's rhythms, along with the respiratory and blood pressure rhythms, entrain with the heart's rhythm. This is the optimal state for the functioning of any human being. And like I said, I have the article linked below uh, so you can actually read the entirety of the article of where it comes from, the source. I give credit where credit is due. The heart's energy is said to reach out about three feet outside of the physical body, and it can be detected in another person sitting nearby via an electrocardiogram, ECG. Can you bring to mind someone who, without even speaking a word, makes you feel light just by being in their presence? Have you ever been told you have such a positive energy about you? The potential of how far our hearts electromagnetic energy field can reach continues to be studied as technology plays a game of catch up. Let's talk about the additional benefits of coherence between the heart and the brain. These additional benefits include adaptability to change, psychosocial well-being, reduction in stress, performance improvement, higher cognitive capacity, uh, problem solving slash resilience, uh, emotional stability slash mental clarity, access to intuition and creativity, and anti-aging slash regenerative process. Are there ways for us to increase uh, heart coherence? Well, as the brain is able to be retrained through neuroplasticity, right, so can the heart. In the same way, we build mental habits. We can develop new heart habits. Whatever the heart informs the brain, the brain responds accordingly. It takes changing what we have hardwired in the communication exchange 
between the heart and the brain and between the neurons and the heart, just like rewiring the communication between the neurons and the brain. I hope you've enjoyed this content today. Like I said, I have the full article linked below for you to fully read. Um, if you are new to this channel, welcome aboard. This is a safe space. You're welcome. All are welcome. If you're returning, I appreciate you. It is what you give to this channel that allows this channel to keep functioning and surviving. And I appreciate you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a wonderful Father's Day as today is Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.